Hello everybody, my name is Chris, and we're back to more Resident Evil 4. But I wanted to add this right here at the beginning, just as a disclaimer. So, I have I have returned from the Shadow Realm, and I'm back. <laughs> right? It's been a it's been a minute. It's been a minute. But um, what you can see the bit, little bit of the beginning of this video, um, I actually recorded part of it before I fell ill <laughs> with uh, with everything, and so unfortunately. You see a bit of a pivot at some point, and I just wanted to point that out now, so it's not like, oh, what's going on? That's weird. What happened? So, that's what happened. That's what happened. So, first bit of the video is going to be something I recorded before, and then we're going to pick up afterwards right right there. So, anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. Hello, everybody. My name is Chris, and welcome back to more Resident Evil 4 Remake. Now... As you see, last time, we finished chapter 5 and 4. So, last time, we went and we had to head back to the church. We had to head back to the church because we had gotten the key, uh, well, the key, the the item to unlock access to the church, right? So we can go back and find Ashley, get the hell out of there, right? It's a whole thing. So we, we, we had gone and we had fought our way back to the church and in in one of the in the large rock quarry that we had gone through before uh, that was seemingly empty uh, was no longer no longer no longer empty because as we were going through it there was one of the cultists standing up on top of one of the walls and through the big blue doors that we had kind of briefly looked at before um but weren't able to like open or anything huge doors right they break open. They break open, and there's this massive, quite literally gigantic fucking dude. Like, huge. Like, I don't even, Like, he actually called him a giant. He's massive, and he's huge. His, he's, and he's, like, picking up parts of the buildings around us and throwing them around. He's grabbing us, and it just, just crazy and we have to like fight this dude and we're shooting him and he's just taking it like nothing just absorbing the bullets right and then we after doing an update which we realize oh he is also too infected right he's also infested with whatever this parasite situation is and and so I, I we don't know if that's what makes him grow so big it could possibly be um I mean it's more likely right that you would naturally grow that large but still right huge and then the dog that we saved from the bear trap earlier showed back up and actually helped us and we teamed up and we took this dude down and it was great it was really good it was cool as shit right and then you know riding on that victory we headed back to the church we opened it up we went inside solved a couple of little puzzles and then we found ashley we found ashley who uh Upon initially introducing ourselves, tried to hit us with a candelabra. <laughs> Impressively, uh, willing to defend herself at least, right? Um, and then she bolted, right? Only for us to look out the window of the church and see the entire village converging on us. And then we too got a message in our minds from this uh, Guy, the leader of this whole thing, again, and he was speaking to the villagers right speaking to them but we also heard it us and ashley which is very strange right i mean not strange for us knowing that we kind of are also infected at this moment just not as deeply as the rest of the village um but it also definitely implied that ashley is also infected and that's bad this whole thing is bad um and he can telepathically communicate to all of the people that he's infected I'm, I'm, a, I am standing by the fact that he's the one who is doing it because he calls it his gift, right? Like that's the whole thing, right? So, so we go, we get Ashley, and we haul ass out of there, and we have to fight our way through the entire village because now they're all on alert. They're all coming after us. They're all trying to stop us now because we're trying to get out. We're trying, we're trying to run, and Ashley's escaping. Right, so Ashley, she's cool. She's like, okay, I understand. You know, you're sent by my father. Gonna, we're gonna, we're partners in this now, right? We're gonna team up. 
and we eventually get to the edge of one of the areas in the village, um, but then hordes, hordes, literal hordes of the villagers are surrounding us, and in the cabin ahead of us is Lewis, who we hadn't seen since he escaped earlier, right? And he's like, you know, get in here, let's go, and we go in, right? And we we lock the doors, we lock everything down, and we just try to survive. We hide Ashley in there, and we just go through waves and waves and waves of the villagers trying to break in and take us out. Right? And it is, it is, it was a fight. <laughs> it was a whole thing. And it took a couple of, took a couple of attempts, but we made it through. We made it through. We persevered. And right at the end, though, Right at the end, as we escaped the cabin and got some distance and closed off the wall behind us, <sighs> Ashley, she coughs up some blood. Same exact thing that happened to Leon on the lake right after defeating Delago. <sighs> and Lewis even asks, Is that the first time you've coughed up blood like that? And she said, Yeah. And he's like, Shit. All right. And then we finally get the confirmations of all the speculation, right? And Lewis literally says, you both have been infected with a parasite. Same as everybody else here. All the villagers, everyone we've seen so far, they're all infected with this parasite. And he calls, he, he says, it's called the Plaga. The Plaga is a, and he, he refers to it as parasite. So it is a parasite confirmed and it is called the Plaga. And... He says, that's basically our fate, the villagers. That's where we're going to end up. That's how we're going to end this, as, our, as Leon and Ashley. But he does say that there's a chance to avoid it because early stages in the process, it can still be removed safely <laughs> through surgery and the know-how of how to do that, right? And he even shows his scar, implying that he had it and he removed it from himself or somebody who does know how to do it removed it from him, one or the other. Either way, he knows this shit. And he knows, like, about the Plaga. And he's known about it this whole time, right? And whether this has anything to do with his ties to Umbrella or not, regardless, he has the knowledge and we have agreed to team up, right? Trust and trust both ways, right? Because... He's got a plan. He's got a plan. What that plan is, I don't know. But what it is going to do is going to get the Plaga out of Ashley and us. And that is good. And hopefully he can do that by the time we... By the time or before we reach helicopter extraction that Hunnigan sent for us. Right? So... Yeah. This is going to be... It's going to be a whole thing. Right? And... And... Stat-wise... Not too terrible. Not too bad. Right? 58 enemies. Five deaths. Is it the most deaths we've had so far? Yes. Yes, it is. Not our worst accuracy. Right? The most enemies we've killed, though. But let's press on. Let's see where we're at. Right? Hey, got a smoke? I do, the kind you like. Now where's the amber? Oh shit. Fortunately, it's not on me at the moment. And you really should be telling me what a good job I did. Busted my what? ass and managed to hide it right before I got caught. Which is why I'm still alive. The deal was we get you out of here when you deliver the amber. No amber, no protection, Luis. <laughs> yes. Such a stickler for details, Hyde. Okay, then. I'll go get it now, how about that? <laughs> amber? What the fuck? I do have something else I need to get, too. 
Oh, sh this is that's different. Wait a minute. This is Roost. Hold on. I've got some bad news, Condor One. With the weather like this, the chopper can't make its approach. Can you stand by until it clears? Negative. Too dangerous. We're gonna get out of here and find someplace safe. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more to help. Don't worry about it. We'll swim home if we have to. Condor One, out. Let's go. <laughs> What's... What's gonna happen to me? Right now. Let's just focus on getting out of here. Yeah, yeah. nothing. Right. Nothing's gonna happen to you. I'm gonna protect you, keep you safe. You're gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. Right? But, okay, can we take a... <laughs> Son of a bitch. So, first off, that is confirmed. 100%. Ada is present. Ada Wong. And it is interesting. They... It's a different... It's a different voice actor from Ada in Resident Evil 2. It's interesting, but I guess I, it's like several years later, so I guess it would make sense. But regardless, regardless, Ada's fucking here and she and Luis are working together. What the fuck? And he's she's asking him to get am this thing. Where's the amber? What's amber? I don't know what could that possible what is that even and why does ada want it right which is a whole thing that's a whole series of questions on its own but his little look back he's like oh i gotta get something else too right which means even behind when we're not here he's he's still he's gonna he's gonna honor his word to help us at least right but fucking ada What the shit? So her and him are working together. That's that's crazy. The fuck? And so okay, I'm sorry. Like before we get into this, I, I need to. I just want to set that out because that's crazy. <laughs> so Ada's here. Ada's here. She saved us earlier, but her whole mission has been working with Luis, right? Was that before he got captured? Or or has this been... Wait, how, I want to know. I'm curious if we're going to find out, right? Like, how long they've been working together in this whole thing and what he's getting out of this. Probably protection and, you know, a way out, maybe. But, yeah, whatever this Amber is, that's it's going to be something. But he did say he hit it. Right? So he does physically... He knows where it is. Whatever it is. But it's important. And if Ada wants it, it's a big fucking deal. Right? And... God, just... What, what is this? That there are, there are implications that we... Not, we do not yet know of. What they could be. I don't think... Yeah, we are out of every thing. We're out of everything. So I think it's probably a good idea to at least make some, right? Get a little bonus. That's good. And then we make another one. So we have two, and then Damn it. I don't think we're going to be able to get back. Nope. Maybe? Ugh. Oh, damn it. Oh, shit. Ugh. Yep, I think that, that, that is... That's it, because we might... I wanted to go back, because uh, I don't think we're not going to be able to do it now. Right? Village Chief's Manor. Savage Mutt's side quest. Or side mission. Oh, shit. I'm debating if we should do that before we go on. Okay, I decided. We're here. We're gonna take this thing out, and then... Well, we're gonna see what it is. Take it out. Win. <laughs> and then... Uh, and then I'll do the... I'll do the cabin again. But I'll do it. I'll... I'll 
I'll cut past it when we finish this and then pick up where Ugh. we started this episode in. That way, you don't have to sit through me Ugh. fucking chiseling away at that again. But, yeah, I figured we're being thorough, right? We're here, we're here. We're having a good time. We're having fun. We're going to see everything this game has. And knowing that there is even this kind of a request is one of those things where it's like, we have to check it out, right? We have to. And I just you know, also remembered there was the ladder in the attic that we couldn't reach, but now we have Ashley, so she can reach it. Shit. No, this was doubly good we came here then. Right? All right. Well, let's see what this thing is. Ooh, there's a nest. It did it. It didn't do the. There we go. Gunpowder. Still not enough for the shotgun shells, but we'll keep saving. All right, we're kind of said it's bigger than a normal dog. Or it's different. Stop it. I hate it. I hate it already. I already am so uncomfortable. Oh, God. Ashley? I don't. I don't. <sighs> I'm so uncomfortable. I hate this. I hate it. I hate the dogs. I always have. And, um. He could be inside. He might not be. Could be upstairs. Spread out. Okay. Yeah, so stay cool. Stay frosty. God. God, the instruments. I'm not I'm not ready for it. I almost just want it to be a normal dog. Is it, is it up here? No I hate it because now I don't know where it is. I thought it was in the house. And then I thought it would be up here. What is this place? Oh, shit. Oh, good. shadow I just I have such I don't feel good about any of this chess oh I've I've not seen one of those in a minute. Either they are super, they're super hidden. They're very hidden. Or a father's portrait. Watch over the village in my stead. 
and may smiles always find you in photographs. Oh, this is his dad. Oh, that's sad. Damn. The the village chief guy, right? Because he's wearing the same he's wearing the same coat and everything, and he grew the same kind of grew the same kind of beard, right? But wow. Watch over the village in my stead. Damn. That's wholesome. Wholesome family moment. It's everyone everyone working away. The long awaited ironworks, nineteen ninety two. Oh, that's the factory we went to. Right? That's the uh the abandoned factory. The long awaited. And so that was in nineteen ninety two, so that would have been twelve years before current time. Wow, so like the village and everything was like it was all coming it was coming together. You know? It was building up and then then the uh the cult moved in and screwed it all up. Village Records Volume 1. The Elder entrusted the village of to me today. He told me I can learn my duties as I go. I will start by keeping a record of the village. And there are still there are still many words I cannot write, but the Elder encourages me. I will do my best. Aw. There is a young boy who lives in the cabin by the lake with his grandfather. It seems that his mother was called to heaven upon his birth. His grandfather doesn't talk much, but the lad is very bright and spirited. He told me a story about a knight who rides a donkey again today. <laughs> Don Quixote. That's funny. Because the kid really liked it, so that connects to the, the journal we read last time, in the last episode. Right where... Aw. The boy's grandfather's fallen ill and his condition worsens every day. The boy worries terribly about him and there are murmurs of a madness among the villagers. As I took my leave, the old man pulls me aside and says, If anything happens, you know what to do. I could only nod in response. The old man pulled me aside and said, If anything happens, you know what to do. Damn. It was a terrible night. Everyone stood around the cabin and watched as it burned to the ground. The boy looked on without saying a word. Even as dawn broke, he didn't move a muscle. The next day, he was gone. Damn, so the boy ran. <sighs> That's sad. That's I mean, it's it's re I love the fact that it like does a callback and it's all connected and everything. But chief, vill the new village chief, and one of the th first things he writes is, "See, there are murmurs of a madness among the villagers," which means while this was happening, after he had, while he had assumed control of the village. The, the infection, the parasite, the plaga, was still making its way around. It wasn't as fully taken over as it is now, right? And even it seems in this journal that um, the, the village chief wasn't, he wasn't infected. And they weren't trying to do this whole thing. I mean, maybe they weren't, right? But he's talking about it. As if it hadn't really been like a full-blown thing yet. Antique camera. Ooh, good treasure. And this is, oh, this is the portrait from the, a photo of a boy and his grandfather, the Navarro family, 1981. 
Damn. 1981. And it was only after that. Shit. It's wild seeing kind of trying to piece together like the story of how like the timeline of all this going down. Because that means that means the cult wasn't here always. I am so sure. Where is this fucking dog? I mean, it could be roaming out here, right? Oh, God, I'm so stressed. Cool, because we did this one. So this is the only one left, right? The strong threat. Fuck. Ugh. And all I have is some handgun ammo and the rifle. I don't trust it. I don't care. This is... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna save I'm gonna save because we we got some we got some we got some stuff right we got some cool stuff so let's let's go and make sure that I don't have to get it again. I'm thinking the dog's gonna be outside. Right, I imagine it's roaming outside. hear it. I mean, if that is it. I heard like a, a yip. Oh, God. I hear, I hear the barking. Oh, shit. He had red eyes. Oh, God. So he's stuck on the other side of the gate. It's probably for the best. God damn it. Because I know I'm going to have to fucking chase him. He's gonna be so fast, I know it. I'm trying to catch him. I'm trying to get the jump on him. I mean, it may be... Oh, God. I might be overthinking. I might be playing this up way more than it's going to end up being. But I am so tense. I just... I hate it. Okay. Okay. Maybe he's not too smart, huh? I just need to surprise him. He's roaming. That's uh stressful and neat. Holy shit. Okay, but now he's got this whole open space. Where is he? OK. 
Okay. Where are you? Dog. Ah. Hi there. Shit. Oh my god. That is Okay. Okay, wow, he is Okay, he is taking this shit. Uh 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 Huh. Why is it target near <laughs> Fuck. I was just he uh ooh. That's different than that's definitely different than the other ones. He is a big boy. Not not massive, right? He's a little white wolf. He's a little bit thicker. His infection, his uh his plaga evolution is definitely more than the other dogs. But to be fair, that that went way better. That I was worried. I was worried about. Which is nice. How are you? You were dead. Okay. Huh. Yeah, because there was a dead... Cow was de dead earlier. Why is it... Why are you alive? I mean, that's good. I'd... Maybe. I don't know, unless that's an infected cow, and then... That's gonna be a whole fucking problem on its own. But it's not gonna be our problem. We're leaving. Getting the hell out of here. Not dealing with that. Alright. Ashley? Alright. Nope. Oh. Oh. Hell yeah. Independent. Let's go. Pretty good. Okay. Was there actually anything in here? I didn't check earlier. I'd scraped everything out the first time we came through here. So, that's good. Okay, cool. We took them out. We took them down. And we can go get our reward. Our reward of spinels. Right? is a just reward. To be fair, I think it would have been way scarier having to fight the dog in the house <laughs> than, than on the outside. I think that would have been like a million times more stressful. But he was, uh, he was a little aggressive. But we got him. We got him. He was taking the bullets though. So he was he was tough. Well done. That's for sure. Payment in Eight spinels, and that's why it's worth going back. Not just to do it, right, and to see the enemies. But ten, ten total spinels, eight additional. There's some things money can't. It was it was worth it. It was a good idea. Might want to take care of any leftover errands before going this way. Be ashamed to live the rest of your life wondering what if. Am I right? And see, when he says that, I do wonder if that's kind of in a way a hint at not being able to go back right I feel like it might be cause it's not like he's led us astray yet but I think that's I think that might be what he's doing but okay cool so we've done this we got it we got the spindles which is good because we need I want to complete all the requests as we get them right not just because they're cool, right? But because um, we get the reward. And we still got a bunch more. And plus, we found the village records and, you know, village photo of the factory. And it was just, it was cool. It was cool, right? It was worth it. Cause, oh, wait, well, no, we can also sell what can I interest antique 10,000. That is... Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. It's beautiful. Well, that's our choice, thank you. 10,000. Damn. 
All right, we got an another Alexandrite. So I don't think there's anything else we wanna if you want really a up. Chance out there, you best tune up your kids. Because whatever whatever we do, this is gonna be what we're going into the next the next chapter with, right? Because I'm gonna go take out the, the house. Um, come back we'll figure it out afterwards. So we're gonna I'm gonna go cut over to me conquering <laughs> the uh, cabin once again. And then we'll pick up there. Alright, okay, so we're back. We went and we cleared out the cabin once again, and that was <laughs> that was the time. That was the time going through that a second go. But but here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? It's really cool. We went back, took out the dog, bigger than the other dogs. But I definitely didn't want to leave that behind undone. So we did that, and now we're moving forward. But. We got to talk about a handful of things. We got to talk about a handful of things. One, one. It is now, it is now finally, finally officially, we are knowing this whole thing is a parasite called the Plaga, and not only are we infected with it, but Ashley is infected with it now. And that's not that's not great. We know the whole village is affected with it, and how that progresses, and what it does, and the El Gigante, uh, he he's also infected with it, but there was a different. It, it was like the same, but like different. Like the one that was bursting out of his back didn't look like anything the villagers looked like. Maybe it's just like a later gestation period or like something different. Or it's how... It, it's like the way the way that the parasite works for him is different than it works for other people. Or there's a way they can like cultivate it. I'm not sure. Because that thing, massive, huge, like literally, like an ogre <laughs> so it's like how does that work versus the rest of the villagers and like is it is it natural or is it like different types of the parasite or whatever because in the past in the past games right we knew we knew how they do um or at least how umbrella specifically right and we don't know if lewis is responsible for all of this or part of it or anything but um umbrella right let's just say like parasites and viruses like what we know of Right, things we've seen. Um, parasites are a lot more dangerous and unpredictable because they are um, not the same thing as a virus, <laughs> right? And so, what we what we've seen in the past, specifically viral, virally, and this one parasitic, right? Specifically, let's say Nemesis. Nemesis is a great example because he is. Um, he is tyrant, but with a parasite introduced into his brain, right? So we know tyrant. We've seen tyrant in multiple different phases throughout all the other Resident Evils we played so far. And now, um, now, now when we saw Nemesis, Nemesis is very much tyrant, but way more, um, dangerous. Way more dangerous. He's faster. He can use weapons, right? And they had a control module on his chest, specifically to um, keep him from mutating, right? And it seems, it, um, as far as I know, some like all the nem not nemesis, but all all tyrants have some sort of control device, I believe, right on them, to kind of like like limit their ability to like mutate right um and from what we've seen like specifically with the g virus that doesn't exist the g virus just erratically like it evolves and evolves and evolves and it just kind of goes and goes and we saw what it did to birkin in resident evil 2 and how far that that went even in the 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 bonus boss fight at the very end where he's literally absorbing the train like huge and so there's no like there's no like limiter for that uh, nemesis had one nemesis had one it's the big thing on his chest and that was keeping his the the vi the, the the both the virus like the t virus and the parasite from like really mutating but on in the break we only did the remake so we're going based off of that until i played the original right but for three um 
there was the the bridge chase and then he fell it was before the bridge chase right he fell into the one after we did the rooftop fight and he caught fire and his chest limiter got destroyed got damaged so he started mutating and transforming kind of erratically and that's where the other forms came in right so we're we're seeing my whole my whole rant with this is basically like viruses um are one thing but introducing a parasite is a whole other like in a way a very literal bag of worms right (laughs) a different different can of worms you know put worms in bags but you know what i mean right so the fact that it is it is it is one thing to you know you get the virus you get the antivirus and eventually you're kind of your body will sort itself out if you have the right antivirus for the virus a parasite it's a totally different story because that attaches to like your nervous system and it seems to be something that is so ingrained in these in the villagers specifically right and the gigante and and the um the lago and, like all these that it gets so deep that it's not something you could just like pull out you know it's not it's you just, so 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 this is really bad <laughs> This is really bad, and it's, it's, it's really, it's really, I'm, I'm very happy that we're finally at this point where we, we know, right? And then we also talk about the fact that Louis, Louis, he's working with Ada. He's working with Ada. Ada is here looking for something called the Amber. Like, I don't even know what that is, right? But she's looking for it. And, and, and she, and Louis promised to get it for her right but then he's also agreed to help us out right he's agreed to help us out in this whole in our parasite situation which i guess is at least worth trusting a little bit on that on that front um even though he is hella suspicious and even now the fact that the fact that he's an umbrella prior umbrella employee already is suspicious but the fact that he's working with ada and we don't know it is also very suspicious super super suspicious but but we can worry about that all down the line as it comes to us because we have we have a lot of things that we have to keep pressing forward for um we don't have any of the attachment of the red nine yet because well they're not available and we don't have um we really have a lot of money to do a lot of that either shotgun shells let's make some of these um can't make any more bolts yet but we have the knives so there's that right just a little bit of organizing real quick before we move forward reload these but yeah unfortunately um us and ashley infected with a parasite not great real bad especially from what we've seen with the villagers and everyone else um on top of the fact that we saw what it did to nemesis not that we're on the same level as nemesis but it's like even even in that situation it was really bad all that i don't oh hey nice Ooh, red barrel, barrel, barrel. <laughs> Either way. Either way, we're here now. We're gonna keep pushing forward. We're gonna keep pushing on. Uh, we are in so. It's it really it really sets the bar, and I think about it a lot now, as we've been going through this game, about how different this is compared to Raccoon City, <laughs> and. Uh, everything else and how this feels like it's bad it's definitely bad but the question is is it worse is this worse than raccoon city that's an interesting debate and i wanted i'm you know what you know i'm i'm gonna I'm think about it i'm gonna think about it and I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk about it later. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you think? Do you think this whole situation with the Plaga, and everything that we that uh, has happening here so far, is worse than Raccoon City? And why? 
Why? Do you think it's worse? And why do you think it's worse? Let me know in the comments. I have some new goods that might interest you. Hell yeah. Love that. Alright, what do we got here? Midnight Stroll. You ever seen those nasty guys with the tentacles spreading out of their heads? Not only are they dangerous, but they're a pain to kill too. They do have a weakness though. They absolutely hate bright lights, like the sun. That's why you won't see them out during the day. That's interesting. So if you ever go walking during the night, be wise to keep some flash grenades handy. Hell, keep a couple on me at all times. You can make some yourself using the recipe I'm selling if you're interested. That is one that I've definitely noticed. So it kills the birds, and it kills when when their tentacles and their their shits exposed. <laughs> they uh, it the the flash just like instantly kills them, which is great, especially when there's a group Welcome. of them. Welcome. <laughs> Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Oh, there it is. Oh, my back is killing me. Years haven't been kind to us, I suppose. Yeah, us is definitely true. Um, oh god, I want it so bad. It's the fucking stock, man. There's the bat, the case. Oh, shit. Oh, the riot gun's available. The new shotgun. That cash in your pocket or your life. Oh. God, the, the it's so. Okay, how how much better is it if we if we were to if we were to sell our shotgun right now? It's a lot better. And what I mean is, it's better in every way except reload speed. How much would it? How much is? How much can we get? Our shot 30 mm. your valuables won't do <laughs> thank you ah that, yeah there's a real boomstick mate it will reduce your target to a bloody pulp that's what we like to see okay so now we got that good and then we then sell what I don't gun will look great get the stock <laughs> Okay. Get eight spinels for that. That was super worth it. Super worth going back for. How have we procured these curiosities? Right. Okay. Let's draw that one. Okay, cool. So Will it? What can come back? So what are we looking at? Let's look let's uh, let's do a little bit of rearranging. Um so one one thing for sure. Is we are we are not in the best of place <laughs> uh, due to the fact that we can't um, we can't get out of here due to the, the helicopter not being able to show up that we were gonna get our our escape is oh, damn I can't fit it that way um, it's delayed And it's delayed because of the storm. Anytime. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's good. That's way better. <laughs> that's way better. Um, Welcome. And so this whole situation with us being infected, right? Molding a weapon to suit your specific needs. <laughs> it's a thing of beauty. It oh, I'm gonna get the first aid spray. Up while you um, can. Wise choice. Pull up the ammo. There you are, um, as you wish. But no, so Pleasant we are, travels. we are, we are in a, we're in a, we're in a bad spot, right? We gotta basically survive the night being infected. I'm just gonna use it now because it's got. I mean, we were really low. Um, we gotta survive the night and hope that Lewis comes back to us with a solution, um, or something, right? Because it's not it's it's not great, and just having to survive the night, which has already been hard enough, just to get to this point. 
Oh, tighten the defenses. This is a direct order from Lord Sadler himself. Convert the area beyond this point into a defensive position so no intruders may pass. Damn it. I'm willing to make any and all sacrifices for the sake of uh, the righteous faith. My devout believers, build me an impregnable fortress and make sure any heathen foolish enough to trespass pays for their wicked sins in blood. Oh, good. That's great. That's what we like to see. Impregnable. We've got company. Keep moving, but quietly. Got it? Okay. Oh, I'll try. Okay, stay, stay, stay solid, okay? You got this. If there was somewhere I could just, like, put you to hide, that would be really, really great. But, I got a couple of these. Excellent. So we can do some, uh, some assassinations. Ugh. I don't want her. Spread out. Got it. With me. No, actually, I'm gonna okay. keep you here. Um. Oh, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Who? <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Oh, God. I feel like, is there somebody, is there somebody around there, too? Like, in there? Oh, God. Okay, I don't see anybody in there. Can I actually? Oh my god. I guess we're doing this. Shit. Alright, nope, come on, we're going back this way. Ashley. Holy shit. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh god. Get your fucking hands off her. Holy hell. Okay, okay, this 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 took this took a fucking turn and it turned really fast. I thought it was going okay. It decided to stop being okay. Jesus. Okay, alright, alright, hold on. Ugh. Holy shit. Okay. Alright, we're gonna try that again. We're gonna try- I felt like that went fine up until the fact that they saw us. Which, to be fair, I thought we were pretty quiet. Right? I thought that was pretty good. Somebody saw us, I don't know who. If it was you, little rat. But you're done now. Did they see us? I think they did. I think they're coming. Guess we're doing this. Okay. Yep. Well. Shit. Okay. Well, that's fine. This is this is honestly. I f I feel like this is this is better than the way it did before. I did like being able to assassinate them. Right. Next. Oh god. Shit. Jesus. Help. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Get out of here, bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> it worked. Okay. Alright. No, this is, this is good. This is great. Oh, that was so... So much better. All right, cowards. Ooh. 
Not bad, right? Nope. Keep coming. Oh, and they... They can try. Oh, that was so... That was so much better. Oh, my God. It's kind of embarrassingly better. I really... <laughs> that first time was so bad. Oh, my God. All right. Well. Cool. All right. See? Nothing, nothing, no problem, Ashley. Right? We weren't even worried. Ooh, yellow diamond. Hell yeah. I'm going to go ahead and take care of this problem right, right now. Get that out of the way. Then can we get up here? Not well. No, cause, okay, it drops down. Never mind. Okay. No, that's good. That's fine. Is there anyone else? See anyone else? That's fine. Nobody else is a good thing. Want to see anybody else? <laughs> we don't have any more pieces to put gems in. So, I'm just going to keep collecting them for now. You good? I mean, honestly, I'm impressed she's she's so independent being able to jump off of things now. Hold still. I was I was I was just talking about how independent you were. Can you walk? Uh, yeah, I think so. And that uh, man, that certainly uh, was a moment. So okay, she doesn't have her own health bar. It seems. So that's different. So I, I assume probably enough damage. She's gone, right? And it seems I can't shoot her on purpose or by accident, which is good. That's good because that happened quite a lot when I played the original game. Not on purpose, but just because I was so... Um, so motivated to attack the enemies that uh, she sometimes would be in the way. And that was um, kind of an unfortunate sacrifice that I had to make sometimes. Um, he wanted an impregnable fortress, and while this is a... this is pretty good... Fortress wise, I don't know how impregnable. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty. Uh, oh my god! I was gonna say I am, I am definitely impregnating it. Not, not, not his best defense. Wow. Ah oh, shit. Jesus. All right. Well, god dang. Is there anything over here? No, just a lot of a uh, lot of that. A lot of this shit. Okay. Not great. Oh shit. That's nice. That is a nice piece. What could we could put? Oh, we can only put three in there. Damn. I was like, maybe more, right? Because we're looking at the best for three would be the same, three of the same color. So three, three of these would basically be the best, right? We're looking at that's 30, that's 30,000. I won't sell it yet, in case we can get more of these in the meantime. But I'll keep those in there. Just just for, like, price reference, right? Okay, and then before we go, check the map, make sure we're not missing anything. Great, we've gotten all the goods. Ooh. Ooh, wait. Oh... I, I, I did not save at the typewriter. 
I feel like I'm going to regret that. I feel like I'm going to... Re- maybe, maybe it says... Okay, it says checkpoint. Well, that's that's probably just the name of the area. I'm going to go save. Let's go, let's go do that because I... I worry. I have PTSD from the fucking... Uh, from the Del Lago situation. God! I even saw these earlier, and I looked at them. And in my mind, I'm like, I'm not gonna fucking worry about them. We're not gonna get hit by them. Who cares? There's a... There's a point where it hurts me more than it hurts anyone else. Oh my god. Okay, well... I really don't want I don't want to combine them. I'm not hurt enough to worry about that, so I'm gonna go and just leave that there. Bring this down here, right? Okay, crafting, what can we, what can we craft? What do we need to craft? Handgun ammo, and I could reload, I should reload this. Okay. Now, I'll move the knives up here. Let's put that right there. We can pick up that. Cool, we can pick up all those. Excellent. Great. Good, good. Good stuff. Okay, we got all those. Go this way. And we can go... We'll save and we'll figure out what we should craft because we're also tapped out on space now. Ooh, you. Thanks, boss. Oh. Oh, damn. I'm full of slots already. All right. Well, that's okay. We're gonna just keep going on that one. Definitely. Um, okay, sorry. So, crafting, 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 crafting. Uh, oof. Like, shotgun ammo is always good. Rifle ammo would probably be smart. I feel like rifle ammo would definitely be smart to do. I know bolts would give us more space, but rifle ammo would be the most... Use oh, you get a flash grenade. <sighs> yeah, that seems to be the most like very useful thing we should have. Okay, I can't make both, so I'm gonna make two flash grenades. Two flash grenades, keep those on hand. Right, got these here, boom, boom. That there, this here. This is, uh, this is, this, I don't like the way that this looks. This looks so messy. It's so... Ugh. So I like to keep the ammo up there. Got a lot of shit. And I'm debating selling the bolt thrower. Not because I don't like it, but because we need the room and I like the other ones more in this moment. Like these, I feel like a great setup. This, not not as much, and I feel like it's probably we're already here. Take a look. Some welcome. And I might regret it, Got but I can always buy it again. Good things on sale, stranger. Alright, but just kinda in this moment. Your valuables won't do it you much good uh, in the grave. Doesn't hit the way I would want it to, right? Thank you. Right, and we'll uh, pairing. That's a good idea. We already juice this all the way up. Riot gun. Oh, two at the same time. A well-tuned weapon can make up for a lack mm. of skill, friend. It already fires really fast. 
So I'm just... I'm not worried about the reload speed on this one. I... Yeah, the camo capacity... I feel like for this, the reload speed is such a big deal. Come back I feel like it's such a big deal. Okay, anyway, carrying on. Now that we've gone and done that, we're going to go through here. I'm not going to step on a single trap because I am so alert. I'm so aware of where they are now that it's just going to... I'm just going to slip right through. Not even think. See, look at that. Boom, boom. That one right there. Ooh, out of the way. Oh, got that one. Not this time. Whew. Juked around just fine. Your impregnable fortress has been impreg. I've gone. I've made it through what you thought I would not. So far. Sound? Okay, so there's still some people here. For now. Oh, it's another one of those. Okay. Spread out. Okay. No, actually. Actually, stay, okay. stay, stay, stay close. Stay close. I don't trust any of this shit. Sure is quiet. Why would you say, Leon, my guy, man? Why would you say it? So you know, you know. The second you say that shit, it stops being quiet. I hate this. I don't like it. Oh, God. It looks Damn like it. I need something. Oh, good. Great. So we gotta go get a thing. Oh, God. Damn it. All right. Ooh, there we go. Nope. Ooh. God. <laughs> Sorry. That is unfortunate. Suckers. Bunch of fools, that's one. I... See, I snuck up on them this time. Can I get it? Won't open. God damn it. Okay, so I gotta get some way to drop in there too. Okay, so there's there's some stuff we can still can still sneak around for. To find wherever that little handle is though. Wherever they're hiding that. So we can go up this way. Lord Sadler, I really was expecting more for this area. I really was. That that note really it built up an expectation that so far is is it's it's not hasn't hit. Right. And it's unfortunate. But hey, you know, sometimes you get them, sometimes you get got. Excellent. This is nice, though, being able to re a lot of restocking. It really helps. Especially after blowing so much of it. Wait, this goes down here. Nice. Kick that shit. Okay, is there anything else? Ooh. Okay, so let's go. Hell yeah, shortcut. Ooh. Another shortcut. What is in here? Hide. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so we could we can still have her hide. That's good. 
I I like I like that because it stresses me the fuck out when like things are happening and she's just kind of exposed. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh okay, cool backflip dude, but like Oh my god, there's two of them. I mean to be fair, I'm glad it wasn't just one dude with two chainsaws. Sorry, didn't realize that was yours. Really fucking I am flattered. Oh what about one lady type of shit. <laughs> flattered. Brother no. Sorry. Brother no. Holy shit, run. Nope, 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 nope. I hate I hate it. I hate when they chase. I hate it. I hate it so much. Uh, I hate it. They, I hate that they chase, and I hate that they have fucking shotguns. Not shotguns. I hate that they have chainsaws, and the best I have is a shotgun. Oh god! Sorry, dog. Fuck! 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 fuck. Okay. I peppered him. <laughs> oh my god, nope. Get wrecked, dude. There you go. Get out of here. Oh, oh wait. Oh. Get wrecked. Oh god, I, I was trying to hope to get around that. Okay, no, we're going in here. This is good. This is good. Is there anything else in here? Is there anything else that we could I can use? Not there there is not. There's nothing. There's okay, great. This was Oh, this is not a good idea. Oh my god. I I really underestimated this section. I was so confident. <gasps> Fuck! Fuck you! Jesus. Okay. Can I kick? Can I kick this down? I can. Ways closed. Idiot. What you get? Okay. All right. Let's kind of like re re get our recollect ourselves for like a second. What's in here? Anything cool? Oh, green air. Yes. Great. Big fan. Okay. Barrels. <laughs> okay. Nope. Oh shit, okay. Oh god. Nope. <gasps> Fuck. Did, did we did we get the one? I can't tell. She screamed and then I ran. <laughs> so maybe. Nope, she, they're still, they're both very much still kicking. Oh, wait. Ooh, Jesus. Come on. Oh my god. Yeah, you know, getting all that ammo didn't really, uh... Like, it helped. Oh, get her, get her, get her, fuck her up. Hell yeah, man. Nope. Oh, God. Oh, that was so bad. I should not have trusted. Oh, my, my, that was so, that was risky as shit. Oh my god. I I don't know why I was hoping I was hoping for ammo. That was that was a stretch. I hear her, she's so close. Fuck. Oh I have nothing else. Oh my god. Okay. 
Any, anything, anything. Can I craft something? Can I craft ammo? This is this is better. This is better than nothing. This is better than nothing. That that'll at least let me do something. How's my health? Hurting. We're hurting. But we're okay now. I. God damn it! No. Shit. I was like, I need these bullets to be saved for her specifically. I don't want. I don't. I don't. I. I want to, but I don't. I. I. I can't. I need. I need them to be saved for you. Okay. Oh. I need. I. I. There's two shots left. I don't even know if that's gonna be enough to take take crazy lady down. And I miss both. That is. Oh, you know, there's ammo up there. Oh, hold on. I saw it. I saw it at the corner of my eye. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. Oh, this is this is good. You guys get down there. It's good. I'm gonna go ahead and just kick that down. Or run over this way. I saw ammo. I saw it. I saw it. I saw a glimpse. It's right there. Oh god, it's right there. This is good. <laughs> I mean, good's a stretch, but it's better than not having it. Shit. Yeah, shit indeed. Oh god, so many... Like, I got gems, I got all this shit, but I ain't got fucking... I ain't got one bullet. Oh my god. <laughs> the fuck, dude? I don't even know. I don't even know how we're gonna get out of this. I, 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 I wanna try. Because I know we can block the chainsaw with a knife. I know we can. But it's every other. Yeah. Sorry, you're not my type. Oh my god. No, don't you fucking dare. No. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. I hate those. Ooh. No fucking way. <laughs> fucking no shot. Oh my god. Oh, that's what you get, you fucking idiot. Oh my, we fuck it with the knife. I. I didn't have any. I didn't have any shells, and you're lucky. But I, I, the way you come running up like that is <sighs> dangerous, Ashley. If I was loaded and prepared for combat, that was not, not your best move. But you fucking did it. Are you hurt? No, I'm, I'm okay, I guess. Yeah, same. You did well back there. Seems this isn't your first time running from creeps. I can't tell if that's meant to be a compliment. It is. That was an excellent skill. I appreciate her actually listening. We told her, hey, you should uh, hide in that locker. Right? No, don't you fucking dare tell me. I guess I should have looked at the map. No way. She's right fucking there. The whole time. 
Just hanging out. Wow. Okay. Uh, please, Ashley. Ma'am. Okay. All right. And like using shotgun shells like that, but that was that. Hey, you know, we got to get the treasure. The real treasure. Okay. Thing in there? No. Okay. Okay. How we got going on around here? Oh, nope, not yet. Well, we got a barrel. Oh, thank God. Gonna be, it's gonna be okay now. It's gonna be all right. All right. Let's get in this sketchy fucking cabin. Doing great. Honestly, you're holding your shit together, and that's that's impressive. All right. Sweet. We got super herb now. Excellent. Not going to use it yet, but we have it, which is great. Okay. Oh, look at that. We finally have room, and I know it's mostly because I <laughs> blew it all. But, hey, you know. Okay, put it like that. These, just put them like there. Oh, see? That's nice. That's nice. I like the way this looks. It's a lot cleaner. <laughs> and then... I'm gonna save this just in case we can make some shotgun shells. And then... Yeah. Boom. Hell yeah. Is this gunpowder? Excellent. It's a lot of skulls, man. I know they're run by parasites, but I'm kind of just like, what's the goal of the village exactly then? Like, was it just like a testing bed for Saddle? All right, come on. Okay. Oh my God! <laughs> no fucking way! He. Oh. My God. Oh, fuck. Leon. Ashley. Your soul requires cleansing. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. Come, child. Ashley, run! God, he's so fucking cool. Run. <laughs> Hurry! Oh, my God. Jesus. Okay, is there anything in here? Oh, yeah, kind of. Oh my god. Okay. Noted. Maybe that wasn't really worth it. That shit's fucking crazy. Mendez. So, Chief... Chief Mendez. Chief Mendez. Oh boy. Oh my god, that shit. Like, he's so strong. But he's, he's... He's doing whatever Sadler tells him to do. All right. Which is interesting. Okay. Like, obviously. Like, Sadler's in charge, right? He's zero flinch from the knife. It's fucking nuts. Your soul requires cleansing. The effortless twisting of the fucking steel, man. Come, child. Ashley, run! Our soul requires cleansing? Hurry! I mean, I imagine he means death. Oh. Alright, we gotta we gotta go. Don't worry about them. 
Boom. There it is. Yep, wait, we just gotta go. Just gotta go. Holy shit. You dick. You piece of shit. Holy fuck. That hurt. Yeah, we gotta go, Ashley. We gotta fucking go. Can I... Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that. Or I'm gonna kinda worry about that. <laughs> oh shit! This way! Yep, Ashley, we gotta go. You okay? Stop. I'm stuck! Yep. We need to go! Oh fuck. Me. Ashley? Then run! Mm -hmm. We gotta go. Closer. Right. Yeah. Oh, that luck. He was pissed. But it's weird because he's like, he's like mad, but he's not, he doesn't show it. Oh shit, I left a, uh, yeah, I left some money behind. I didn't realize I left a knife too, damn it. Um, he's so Listen, you're the stoic. One he wants. If we see him again, you run. But what about you? I'll do my job. Fucking badass. God damn. But no, literally, like... Oh, no. Oh, shit. No trespassing. Oh, good. Oh, great. No, to be fair, like, literally, the fact that he's... He needs to recapture... Ashley. We are merely... In, in the way. <laughs> It's a lot of shit. <laughs> we are the instrument of her escape. Ooh, breaks over, I suppose. And he will stop us, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. As long as he gets Welcome. her back. Ooh, what are you buying? Okay, the headdress we can never do anything with, so we're gonna sell that. Oh, thank you. Um I'm thinking maybe we sell this. I know I... Getting these would be so much better. I know they wouldn't. Playing the long game with them is probably the better idea. <laughs> that cash in your pocket or your life. Easy choice, man. Okay, our durability's nice fine. Care every once in a while. Could be the difference between life and death. Uh, upping the damage on that would be a really good idea. Can we... Do we have enough to sell for, like... Just, like, a little bit of money? Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. Oh, we could sell these. I don't want to, though, because we do have them. Um... Sorry, I'm just trying to think. I'm... So one ruby. A deal well struck. <laughs> Up We're power. starting to get that an idea of your think is a really good idea. A selection of good things on sale. We don't have enough of those. Okay. So I feel like that is. Here, let's reload everything. All right. Anything? No hidden treasures? Okay. Oh, good. Slaughterhouse. Love that. Be careful. Yeah. Oh, God. That's gross. It's... <laughs> okay, go ahead and just do that real quick before I... Before things get real wild. And oh my God, Jesus Christ! 
dude just like shot through the fucking front. Yeah, you're dealing with us now. Cease your pointless struggling. Abandon your body to the will of our god. Pure shitty missionary. You know that. <laughs> oh, almighty. Grant me the strength to crush your enemies. Oh, god. Bitch. Ashley, run! Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. Hustle away, go. Cool. Hustle away. I thank oh you my god. Gift. You want to get ugly? Oh, it's so get fucking ugly. crazy. Oh my god. God, he looks so fucking cool. It absolutely looks so fucking nuts. Jesus, it's such a but getting a good look at him. Oh, it everything hurts. Okay, all right, all right, man. You don't gotta you gotta say it like that. I don't know if there's a yellow herb in here, so I don't want to risk it yet. Oh, I need distance. Judgment. Oh, okay, go, go, beer. Fuck, 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 fuck. Shit. You move quick for such a big bastard. Okay, another knife. Uh, what's in here? Oh my god, I I was really late on that. Oh, that was embarrassing. That was so bad. Oh shit. Sucker. Oh, he's got the fucking eye on his back. Oh yeah, but that fucking hurts, doesn't it? Jackass. Whoa. That had to have done something. To think you could be this foolish. You'd be surprised how foolish I can be. We share the same blood. Why do you resist? Share the same blood. Because we're also infected. Oh. Yeah. Gonna have to hit him. Oh, oh god. Oh, that was so bad. That was not a good That was not a good one. I really fucked that up. Oh shit, hell yeah. Get your fucking legs out of here, dog. Scorpion, very scorpion. Your tap dancing days are over. Oh nope, we gotta. Well, oh, I gotta. Yeah, I gotta get off the floor. It is. It's a bad time. Jesus. Oh my God. I thought I dodged that. Oh god, is there something I need to be doing? I, I can't I can't tell if I'm like I feel like I'm doing it right. Just kinda hitting him. Jeez. Hey! Everything hurts, man. Watch where you're swinging those things. Oh. Okay, reload, 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 reload. Oh. 
Got him. Got him. Idiot. Running out of options. Oh, it sucks, dude. Get wrecked. Oh, fuck, 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 dude. These reloads. I'm feeling that reload speed right now. Oh, God. It walked right back into it. Ooh, fucking idiot you should have picked that shit up, dumbass. Fuck, dude. No one is I. Leon! <laughs> that shit's fucking crazy. Oh my god. Yeah, this is this is bad. Mendez's false eye. Give my regards to your god. God, what a cool yeah. line. Ugh, <laughs> we are yeah, hurting, hurry. dude. <laughs> Actually, I'm surprised. I'm I'm impressed we made it through that on our first go. Fuck. You're welcome. Thanks, Thanks, Ash. Fucking saved us on that one. Attention. Let's keep moving. Uh, Leon, I'm not gonna turn into one of them, right? I won't let that happen. I promise. Hundred percent. Not even a thing. <laughs> We're gonna get that taken care of. It's gonna be all right. Man, I am in pain. <laughs> right? But, holy shit. No, like, seriously. So cool. His transformation, like, what he, what he did, how the parasite, how the plaga changed him versus how it does the villagers and how, like, it's just... And, and the dogs, like, seeing how different they all are is so fascinating, and he's so cool, right? But on top of everything, I... It's so sad, because he seemed, like, not a bad dude. Probably at one point. But the thing that's making me... Um... Right, what I think about is... Not that one, this one, right? Because we saw this at one of the houses. And what I'm thinking, and I don't remember if it was confirmed. Right? Thank you, Karen's fool. Let's see. Leave his boy behind, and then it's this guy, which I'm imagining... Here, here's my theory, and I don't know if it's actually true, right? The Navarro family. But I had, I had a theory that the kid was Mendez, right, at some point. But that's probably not true. That's a totally different family. But the idea... That Mendez was like devout at one point, but then got the Plaga and basically just completely controlled by Sadler. And I don't know if he's like completely like mind controlled or if it's more like he's just very influenced by it and genuinely believes it. Right? But. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, guys. The fucking castle. Anything in the truck? Got anything in here? Oh, shit. Accessory. Hair color red. Is that for, is that for Ashley? Ooh, and a gold token. Nice. Ashley, you could be a redhead now. 
This is cool. Shit. What? Oh. Okay, that's... Okay, so there is no... Oh. At least you don't have to worry about being followed. Yeah, true. Shit, dude. That is... So we just walked across it and the bridge closes up. That's... That's interesting. That is... That is very interesting. Look at that. Enemies killed deaths only two times. Hell yeah. <laughs> only two times. Um, not bad. And so... Okay. 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 Here's the thing. Right? Um, on the original. Original Resident Evil 4. When we got to... When we got to the... To the drawbridge part, we had to raise the drawbridge. Right? Because we were being chased by villagers. So we did it. But in this one, the drawbridge is raising automatically. And I don't think it's because we just crossed it and it's it's just closing up. And whoever did it saw us cross and is closing us in. I think that's what it really is. God damn it. Ugh. Man. Handgun ammo. I know this, the gold case is probably, it feels like the best because of money. Right? Handgun ammo would be nice and gunpowder would be good, but honestly, the drop rate for money is just a really, it just feels like a good idea. Right? It just feels like a good idea. Oh, shit. Damn. That was that was that was that was intense though. Like we took out Mendez. Mendez was straight up. Um like he had been chasing us, finally found us, we got away from him, but then immediately immediately had to throw down with him inside the slaughterhouse. Which was really cool. Super cinematic. I love that shit. That shit was really cool. And Dude has a crazy transformation. And it's interesting that he he sort of like in a way he's like he like asked for it, right? And I don't think it was sort of like literally like asking the parasite to transform him, but more just like I don't know, maybe letting letting it go like less resisting I don't know because I don't know how much control some of these guys have over the parasite not that they have control but like um trying not to go off on like a whole tangent but I'm just trying to think like they're infected with the thing right they have the plaga inside them it, how much sentience do they have and how can they fight can they like sort of resist the Plaga or not I don't know because it doesn't seem like Mendez was like completely like mindless like the rest of the villagers right um, so I'm just wondering if he's in a, like a different situation or if he's just like his willpower is different I'm not sure I'm not sure but it's just it's just interesting right um, seeing like he transformed due to the Plaga and I do wonder how the Plaga forms differ, right? If it's based on the individual and they're like their physiology. It's so like they can all be a little different. It's interesting, right? But we got his eye. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but we have it. <laughs> we have it now. We have his eye. Hola, Luis here. You oh, shit. Around. Well, I wanted to go home, but Ashley just had to see this castle first. <laughs> Perfect, because I have a present I want to give you. Oh. Medicine that will help to suppress the progress of your problem. Oh, shit. Here we go. Let's see. Come to the courtyard inside of the castle. We can meet up there. Ciao. 
<laughs> oh shit. All, All right. right. Luis just said. I got it. Guess we better get going. Head for the courtyard. Damn. Yep. Actually, no going back. Definitely no going back. But okay, so we got another. We got another file. Quarterly findings. How do we get that? Huh? Summary. Effects and uses of specific drugs on the plaga during the early stages of growth. Place, facility, one, meeting room, S. Presenter, head researcher, Annabelle Garcia. Es Escudero. Questioner, researcher, Ryan Chen. Did he send this to us? I don't know. And that's all for today's report. Any questions? So basically, this suppressant can prevent the host from turning into a monster? Laughter. Monster is a bit dramatic. But yes, you could say the host loses a part of their humanity when infected with the parasite. Initial symptoms include mild abdominal pain and hematipsis, followed by dizziness and even loss of consciousness. Once fully developed, the parasite gains complete control. In other words, the host becomes a puppet. Oh, shit. Because, see, here's the thing. We, we had the abdominal pain and the loss of consciousness. We've had that already. But once fully, once the parasite is fully developed, it's over. The suppressant that we've developed can inhibit the growth of this parasite. So it can only delay the inevitable, right? Like having one more beer before going home? Laughter from multiple people. <laughs> I mean... Asking the real questions, right? Well, yes, when you put it that way. But sooner or later, the bar closes. The suppressant can't completely remove Las Plagas from the hosts. Las Plagas. So that's like... So the whole... Las Plagas. So the suppressant can't remove it, but it basically tries to suppress it. For... A certain amount of time, but eventually it's just, it's not going to work or the plug is just going to get too strong or something like that, right? But we got to get to the courtyard because he is going to give us the suppressant, which is just great. That's good. That's be Honestly, it's better than nothing and better than this potential struggling and being infected. That That's, you know, that's also not great. So, um, what do we got? A meticulously crafted artificial eye made of ceramic for selling. Oh, it's for selling. It's really weird that we got this from him, <laughs> but. Oh, we got the detail. Look at that. Ooh, that's like wet looking. I mean, it's ceramic, right? So it would have that kind of like shine to it, the smoothness, but ugh, that's crazy. That's crazy. It's interesting it could, because in the, um, the, the original four, you actually had to use, you actually had to use his eye to open a door. That was really interesting. It's kind of a cool way to like lock down the village, right? Was with his eye. It was like a retina scan. And so it's kind of it's kind of a bummer that they didn't do it again. They kind of they kind of changed that. I know it's not that big of a deal, but it was just kind of I don't know, it was interesting. But anyway, we're going to pick this up in the next episode. So, we're going into the castle now. <laughs> shit, shit's real. Shit's real fucking crazy. We're leaving the village behind and we're moving into the castle. And we're heading to the courtyard to get the suppressant and then hopefully... Well, it seems the storm dissipated, so hopefully that means we can get on the... Well, I mean the helicopter will hopefully just be re-inbound. Right? Um, but either way, we're going to press on. We're going to press on. We're going to see what's going on here. We see... See the purple torch, which means our guy, our guy's over there. So we're gonna talk to him, sell some stuff, and see what we can do. So let me know what you guys think about all this, all the events of this Mendez and just the, the craziness, leaving the leaving the village behind finally, <laughs> all that. So thank you again for watching. Seriously, 
really really appreciate it appreciate you holding out while while there was a big gap between last episode and this one and i hate that there are gaps i do it's been a year this year a lot of gaps between a lot of videos it's been unfortunate but I'm trying so see you guys in the next video hopefully soon so bye bye <laughs>